if someone received antibiotics before the immune checkpoint inhibitor, they didn't do well. So then it raised the question, maybe this is a microbiome thing. So they said, okay, well, if antibiotics do this, what happens if we move in the opposite direction and basically act like restore the microbiome with a fecal transplant? And what they discovered was incredible results. There's now multiple studies in melanoma where they take people and they give them a fecal transplant from someone who was a responder and give it to the person who's about to go get treated. And that's what they did. And, and with incredible results, like literally twice as many people were beating cancer relative to the expectation. The fascinating thing about that is that it's not just a cancer story. There's research now in Parkinson's disease. So Parkinson's disease is a neurocognitive disorder. So that means basically it's a, it's a brain condition. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that Parkinson's probably starts in the gut. And this is actually a disorder of the gut-brain connection because both parts are involved. It's not just the brain condition. The brain condition is actually the more severe part. So for the people who are listening at home, we have a model out and I have just lifted their skull like uh, Hannibal Lecter and exposed their brain tissue. And what we wanna talk about is the brain-gut connection, the connections between the brain and their intestines. 